What is up YouTube, Luca here with the next PvP build for the Waking Flame DLC. This time with my Stamina Necromancer. I used again Dark Convergency on the back but this time with my old Master 2H Maul in combination with Malakat, Balorg and 4 set pieces of stones. I tell you something guys. This build is insanely strong. With Dark Convergency you pull the enemies together and with Brawler in combination with the Color or Dawnbreaker into Blast Bone. <sighs> it's nasty guys. Now let me show you the PvP combination first. Afterwards I will show you the build showcase and some gameplay footage. Let's go. The PvP combination is pretty easy. Use Blast Bones then bar swap to your back bar, use your ultimate the Colossus, bar swap again and then you basically have to spam Brawler. If you don't have an ultimate up, just use Cal Shops instead, like here. So again, start with Blast Bones for the major D file, back bar, Cal Shops, then back to the front bar and spam Brawler. That's it, pretty simple, effective and super powerful. I told you guys, this build is nasty. Here we go with the build. Back bar, like I said, Dark Conversions. With Sword on board, one ring, one necklace and a sash. Then the mana cut ring, a smithing item. And on the front bar, the Master's Perfected Maul. One of my favorites weapons in this game. On the body, stones for set pieces in heavier armor. With the new monster set, Magma Incarnate, which gives minor courage and minor resolve, so over 215 spell damage and almost 3k resistance. Pretty nice set, it's a good alternative to Balog. I am at uh, 5 heavy. One medium and one light with six impen and one well fitted. On jewelry, full infused with two weapon damage glyphs and one extra stun recovery or stun cost reduction glyph. We need the extra region here since they've increased the brawler hits by almost 3k stamina. Pretty expensive, so yeah, we need the extra region. Then the mall in sharpened for extra penetration. With the Berserker Glyph, a Powered Dagger on the back bar, Impen Shield or Sturdy Shield, and the Stamina Drain Poisons. Quick look on the skills. Front bar, Executioner, Blast Bones, Brawler, our spammable, Mortal Coil for extra sustain and healing, Rally, our Burst Heal, Dawnbreak of Smiting, back bar, Catch-ups, Race Against Time, Resolving Vigor, Summoner's Armor, Spirit Guardian, and the Colossus Ultimate. As race, I'm Dark Elf for Weapon Spell Damage, Magicka and Stamina, Orc, Nord, or Imperial should be even better, but that's also my PvE char, that's why I'm done my year. As Mundus, the Serpent, Faxa Region, the Arteum Takeover both as buff food, 34 points in health, 30 points in stamina. Potions, I use most of the time the resistance potions, otherwise I'm too squishy with this build. Blue CPs, Dual Sweet Buff, Resilience, Master at Arms and Biting Aura, Red CPs, Pain's Refuge, Slippery, Celerity and Sustained by Suffering. Now with some 2vx and 3vx action, we had a lot of fun and a lot of bombs. Take a seat and enjoy those juicy Stamina Necromancer bombs. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd 
Just realized I've built walls a mile high to protect my heart, but now I'm all alone, stuck on the inside. The heart doesn't need a castle, it needs a bridge. Been so scared that I'd unravel, brick by brick. I built these walls. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Ciao.